This year's mild winter means you pick strawberries or at, or at a Delta County farm will be ready earlier than average. I'm ready for those too. Yeah. TV6's Escanaba Bureau reporter Barbara Bellinger explains why strawberry shortcake season is just around the corner. Mm. The strawberries at Gladstone Berry Farm are already in full bloom. Staff say that's earlier than normal. Our average opening day from like the years of doing this are usually around June 25th, give or take, you know, because the weather with farming is key. But this year we're looking probably around the 17th. The Berry Farm has nine acres of strawberry plants. That's 45,000 plants, give or take. So, you know, last year's drought, we're seeing a few effects from it this year. However, it's going to be a decent year. This is probably the most blooms we've seen in the 10 years of doing it so far. So this is kind of exciting. James Dedecker is the director of the MSU Research and Extension Center in Chatham. He says strawberries aren't the only crop the UP can expect to see early this year. So we're going to be out cutting hay uh, potentially this week, except there's some rain in the forecast, so it could be next week, but a, a couple of weeks ahead of when we uh, normally see those uh, activities happening. D. Decker says compared to a decade ago, the growing season is two weeks longer. The trends that we are seeing are at least partially related to climate change and the overall increase in temperature and length of frost-free growing season that we are seeing uh, here in the Upper Peninsula. Grisbaus he expects a bumper crop this summer with the warmer weather. We have zucchini, tomatoes, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, peppers. I mean, you name it, even watermelon and cantaloupe. Right now, asparagus is on the menu. The farm is open every day from 9 to 6. Barbara Bellinger, TV6 News, Gladstone.